Hey there YouTubers, thanks for tuning back in. I just wanted to show you that we can do the same thing to a combo box. I think I forgot in the last video we integrated using the brilliant work of Peter Thornton. We were able to use uh, the scroll wheel and activate an API call that activates the scroll wheel. It only works whenever you're hovering your mouse over the list box. Let's do that with a combo box really quick. We're just going to add it to the same user form to make it easy put a combo box and in fact on this combo box I'll name it CMB uh, my list and we're going to have the row source be the same which I named uh, my list uh, let's see if that was the correct name it was okay so there it is I'm gonna hit F5 activate my user form here. No, I'm trying to use the scroll wheel but it doesn't work yet. Okay. But we're going to use the same delicious line of code that we put in our uh, mouse move for our, our list box that's called my list right here. We use the same thing for the other one. I'm just going to control C to copy that really quick. Double click on my combo box oops I don't want to change event I want a mouse move event so control C now of course we're not using the LBX it's me dot uh, CMB my list so uh, check out my last video on the hook list box scroll that was invented by Peter Thornton it's brilliant the guy is a freaking genius and we all owe him a debt of gratitude so check that out. Um, of course, this user form has the query close that uh, does the unlock, unhook list box scroll uh, every time the user form is closed because it does not need to be still running after it's uh, closed. Anyway, let's try this out. I'm gonna hit F5. Now I have my mouse hovered over the list, and now my scroll wheel is working. So that's pretty cool. Now, typically, I wouldn't use this on a combo box, but you might. I don't know. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about what we'd like to do. I don't want this to change my selection to scroll down. I want it just to affect this scroll wheel here, but not... I want it to stay on matzo balls if I selected matzo balls. And if I click potato salad, I want it to scroll this thing up for me but still keep the selection to be whatever I selected in case I didn't want it to change yet. So I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Thanks for watching.